lines on design. This is one of the most fun things that I get to do here on the design show. And that is come and visit Andrea and Tunis McGilton. Thank you so much here at Distinctive Granite Marble. We're here in Riverwalk and we've got some stories to tell you. We're going to start our storytelling today. And um, throughout the course of the next few shows, I think we're going to show some pretty cool things that you all have been doing. Yeah, before and afters and different ideas. Exactly. And I have to say, you are known within the low country. Mm -hmm. as the pros, the creative people. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, from your dad's beginning in this, yeah. it's it's a family, it's a heritage now, it's a legacy. It is, you. and we even brought a lot of our Thailand dollars are from New York where we originally started. So mm -hmm. they're the real artists. So a lot of people wonder, well, what's the labor, what's this, what's that? We can't lower labor costs because they're worth it. Right. They're that good. And, and you taught me that a long time ago, and it has followed me through my design career. There are areas that you can be cost effective, and there are areas where you right. say, thank you very much, let me write this happy check because it's going to be worth it. Right. And when you're talking about hard materials like, you know, like tiles, like granite, right. limestones, you want the best you Absolutely. can get. Absolutely. Where we're going to start today is basically talking a little bit about kind of where the trends are going. Um, I hear, from what I understand from you, mm -hmm. you're slammed, it's busy. Oh, yeah. Talk to Very us a busy. little bit about how things have kind of transitioning into the busy world again. Well, you know, a lot of people like the look of a white marble. Yes. Even on the floors now, a, a white bathroom, white kitchens, those are always mm -hmm. a classic, beautiful look. So instead of using a Carrera or a Calcutta marble tile, okay. where you worry about the maintenance and the upkeep. Yeah, what's and the problem with using a marble? It's for really like porous, that. Okay. and the polish gets eaten off very easily. It stains, and it's just really, really so my difficult Merlot, to keep up with. So my glass Merlot is not good to put on no, my Carrera marble. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> so what alternatives do I have? Because I have seen that a lot. Okay. Yeah, there's porcelain tile now, and okay. lots of different lines are coming up with options of this type of look mm -hmm. um, and this is kind of it's called statuary venado it looks like statuary and it sort of looks like calcutta gold but it's a nice flat finish so mm -hmm. you're able to do it on a bathroom floor whereas it also comes polished like there oh like this which one. Okay, looks look. nice also so what a not um, a client of mine is going to do the honed on the floor right. and then do the polished on the shower walls. What are the advantages? Mm -hmm. I'm such a natural stone girl. And I, listen, I, I've So grown, am I. Exactly, because <laughs> I that's how we've grown up. Natural stone is is really... The best thing you can use. It's the best. It has character. It ages with dignity. Right. It's everything good. And it's classic. It never go, In my world, it doesn't go out of style. Right. So when I'm doing... Porcelain. A porcelain. I know. What can I expect? Well, now they're... It's kind of a new, innovative way of doing tile, porcelain tiles. They're coming up with lots of different designs where they're working very hard to make sure that they're not duplicating the same pattern ah, as much as possible. Okay. So there's quite a few different tiles that are not going to match the others, which mm -hmm. is good because well, yeah. you want it to look as much like natural stone as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and the rectified edge is a very big deal. What does that mean? I love that word. It was like, oh, i got to know what a rectified edge is. <laughs> well, you know travertine natural yeah. stone oh, yeah. has a complete squared edge. That's yes. a rectified edge. So you're able to get the tightest grout lines possible. Oh. A lot of times with porcelain tile, you get even the slightest little beveled edge, and that creates a valley, which makes a larger grout line. So for a complete rectified edge like we see here, mm -hmm. you get those tight grout lines like you see in natural stone. When I'm looking at a lot of the design magazines, HTV and a lot of the television shows, what I'm seeing is a real continuity of the flooring mm -hmm. where it, it looks almost, it, I'm going to say a more modern look, but it's really, yeah. Sort of. It's like modern and traditional yes, kind of mix. Exactly. And cottagey but not too much distressed. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of a mix of everything. And I think there's a lot of different materials and things you can use and go both ways. You could turn this into something contemporary. You could turn it into something cottagey. I mean, you could really use this look with just about anything. Talk to me again, going kind of taking this back to where we started. We talked about Carrera marble, beautiful in bathrooms, but not necessarily mm -hmm. practical. But a lot of my clients are the same thing. We yeah. want a white kitchen. Yes. We want the look of Carrera marble. Mm -hmm. What What do you think makes sense? You laid out some I did. Let's go. I did. Let's go look at those. Okay. I know you picked out some really cool things for us. And I know we're talking right now about, we were talking about the white Carrera and yes. some granites or options that, that are much more practical. Correct. What, are, what did you show, what can you show us here? Well, there's a lot of selections as far as quartzites, and what those are actually are natural stones. A lot of people think when they hear quartzite, they think quartz, style stone, man-made products, uh -huh. and they're not. 
A quartzite is a natural stone that basically looks like marble and sometimes even onyx, mm -hmm. but it has the durability and strength of granite. So it's practical for a kitchen. All right, and I have to say this to all of you right now. This is why we're here at Distinctive, because whether we're talking about white career marble, mm -hmm. whether we're talking about tile, it doesn't matter. What impresses me about you and the folks that are here is your professionalism and the ability to show us a variety of things, honest to goodness, that we may not have thought about. And, and, I'll, and I'll bring yes. that full circle for us, too. We were talking about all these beautiful whites. Well, maybe I'm not into white. Maybe right. I'm kind of into a natural stone. Right. And I happen to tell you I love limestone. Right. You were There's like, There's options oh. in that. Yeah. Exactly. And a lot of new colors to choose from. Exactly. And it is amazing. And that's what you get when you come here that I don't think you get in very many places. And that is someone who is professional enough to be able to make that segue from you know, one thing to the other. Right. I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. Well, let's go back, though, and, and definitely tie up our white uh, Carrera. Right, so we've got, of course, the super white, which yes. you know about. Love it. Mm -hmm. It has the closest look to a white marble with the gray veins. And okay. it is perfect for maintenance and upkeep and all that stuff in mm -hmm. the kitchen. It's probably the most often used because it looks like white Carrera. Okay. But now we've got one called white Cristallo, which actually is a little crystally looking, right. which is really nice. Love it. Um, this sample is leathered, so you can kind of see the leathered sample. Actually, even you could still see the crystals. In okay, it. for those of us who may not know what leather is, I've been educated by Andrea, so I do know. But th you have d different finishes Absolutely. now. It's not your grandmother's granite anymore. Oh, no, and of course, for marble lovers, mm -hmm. we recommend changing the finish because that's what I, I mainly personally worry about, is as soon as you etch that glaze, that polish off, it's going to drive you insane. You're okay. going to see little areas where the finish has been eaten off. Uh -huh. And I recommend either leathering it, which actually brings out the natural patina. Yes. Like after, it, it ages nicely. Mm -hmm. So, and in the antiques. So I don't mind the look of that, but a lot of people who want that clean, polished, white marble, these are better options. Do you know why I'm smiling at you? <laughs> because I'm listening to you, and you can tell that this is just part of who you are. I mean, you can teach people things, but this is part of... This is my life. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love it. You know what? But again, all right, let's say I'm not into the white right now. There are some kind of fun, fun products out here. Right. This is a product called Vitrazo. Um, Very it's cool. A different look, mm -hmm. again, a lot of people like it because it has that beachy look and it comes in tons of colors. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got blues and just like a yeah. kind of a greenish. I love this, like a sea glassy yeah. color. Yeah, and a lot of people like that look because mm -hmm. they want to do something beachy in a bathroom or right. something like that. And the durability is pretty, it's pretty good on this stuff. Let me ask you this, if I come in and, and I think I know, okay, I want a white kitchen with a white career, and can you help me sort of get out of my box and can you help me maybe um, diversify or grow or show me what product I should use where maybe maybe I'm willing to spend or help me help me decide where to spend my money yes absolutely I mean we can bring costs down in certain areas okay. in the budget whether we're doing tile or mm -hmm. um, you know countertops backsplashes things like that mm -hmm. the places to spend the money would be on, obviously, like you said, the installation, mm -hmm. the structure, things like that. Mm -hmm. And material is always going to do better with a natural stone. Or, like we said, the rectified porcelain edges are much better now. So, again, the, the fact that you could kind of guide me, yeah. show me what's new, show me what I may predict. Right. And the other thing is that I've experienced with you, on Kim and Tammy and everybody else, mm -hmm. is that... Um, you can help my client whether you are, we were just talking about this before we started airing, whether it's a contemporary home, very classic, right. very eclectic, very Mediterranean. Right. There's something here for everyone. And we're able to sway our personal design opinions. I mean, I think I've changed actually. I used to be a little bit more contemporary. Okay. And I find myself liking more traditional, almost cottagey looking mm -hmm. things now. Like I like the white marbles. I like the white cabinets. I like those things. But I'm still able to sway my own design aesthetic and, you know, be able to help a client who has more of a modern contemporary vision. And that's what all of our sales associates are good at doing. I'll tell you what's been a lot of fun for me personally is I've sort of been in Andrea um, and your dad and everyone distinctives boot camp. Yeah. <laughs> so I had, and I think a lot of us are like this. We have no idea. You have no idea 
the knowledge, not just from the sales staff here and from all the products in the showroom, because this is the beautiful part, yeah. but your folks have to really know what you're doing. And you touched on it at the yes. beginning. Yes. How does that work for a client? Do you bring someone out to measure? Because I know these guys are pros. Oh, absolutely. We don't do anything without a template. We don't cut anything. Nothing is done. And we do free estimates. Like, like you oh. know. So we send Tony out to do measurements, mm -hmm. and we can give a pretty good quote from there. Mm -hmm. And then Tony is the best, and we obviously only use pro liners and new line, you know, mm -hmm. technology, machines, things like that. So we don't do anything by hand. You won't see a cardboard, you know, cut out template anymore there. as okay. a template. So, and then a lot of our clients like the option to do layouts. Mm -hmm. So from the pro liner, sometimes we're able to have our shop foreman, you know, tape out where he recommends this the counters be on the slabs themselves, yep. people like having that option. I told you we had a story to tell, and we really do, and there's no way we're going to get all the cool information <laughs> in one segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick and choose and come back, so stay tuned to Lions on Design. There will be a lot more to come on Distinctive. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Thank you. Stay with us. back and as promised here on Lines on Design, we are in Hardyville at our main distribution center for AGM, our sister company. And as you can see, this is the largest warehouse of all the AGMs. Every single container that hit, hits port comes here first and is distributed equally to all the AGMs. This is going to be fun and you're not going to want to miss it. This is why we brought you here to show you what no one else has and that is glass, marble, granite, limestone, the list goes on and on. Thank exactly. you. It is unbelievable. It is. Actually, I'm even amazed sometimes. After my brother and my dad get back from a buying trip, I cannot believe the amount of containers that come through this warehouse. Well, she, we just laughed because I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. And Andrea, on the other hand, who sees it every day, is worse than I am, saying, no, look over here. No, look over here. It's incredible how many different options there are when there used to be, what, just a few oh. different colors to choose from. Exactly. Now you've got limestones, shell stones, granites, quartzites, marbles. There are so many different options. And one of the things that you and I were talking about that you said that made a lot of sense to me, and this is really important, sometimes when you go into other showrooms or different places, mm -hmm. you can see this flat two-dimensional piece. Yes. But it in no way, shape, or form feels or looks like looking at the entire slab. That's right. Just think about it, looking at this full slab. Think about a four-by-four four little sample being exactly. cut out of here. Exactly. It's not... I mean, you cannot select from a sample. It just can't be done. It can't be done. And every, because a lot of these are such natural stone, every sample, every sample, every slab is so different. Well, it, the lot numbers. Okay. I mean, basically when it's quarried, it's the block is cut and sliced like a loaf of bread. So, and then it's numbered. Mm -hmm. So the grain runs consistently through. Gotcha. But you want to stay consistent with your slab number. So if you've got a kitchen and you need three slabs and you select 19, you want 19. 18, 17, or 20 and 21. You know, the other thing that you're showing me, and I, we wanted to show everybody this today, which I'm really impressed with, is not as if you weren't going to be overwhelmed but when you come in. And, and you said something that was really fun. You love to send people out here just to kind of take a look and then kind of sift through it and then come back and really pick. Yes, because it is, I mean, it is so huge. It's overwhelming for some clients. As soon as they walk in the door, I mean, they look at the selection and you don't prepare yourself for that. You really you don't. Know? And then they feel rushed, almost like they have to make a decision now mm -hmm. because you're with them. And so a lot of times I like to let my clients come out at their leisure first, yes. walk around on their own, and all the names are on all the slabs, mm -hmm. and they can jot down anything that they're interested in, and then we can work on narrowing it down together. Can I ask you this? I know that when I initially look at a slab, and we're standing in front of one specifically because I wanted to talk to you about not only what the initial look is when you have a slab that comes in, but the different finishes that you have that, again, 
set you all apart. Yes. We're going to get, I think, a B roll of the leathering machine, and if we can get yeah. your dad one of these days in there to take a look. We but can let's definitely talk do that. if we can. This seems to be very popular and trendy today. It is right now. This, this is, is called Oyster Blue, and it's beautiful in a leather and a honed finish. And tell me, a leather, this is the leathered finish, yes. I believe. Yes, and you can actually see the texture. You can feel the shell. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. Are you seeing a lot of mixing of and matching of leathered and then honed and then the polished also? I'm using a lot of the leathered and the polished together. Rather than people doing a different material or a different color on an island and a perimeter, it's nice to now play with textures instead. What are you seeing as far as the use of glass, of quartz, or some of the other natural materials? Granite and quartzite, which is yes. the, the white kitchens are always going to be, and of course granite, natural stone is always going to be the first thing we go to. We talked about it in the, um, in the first segment, and I, I would love, we're gonna, we'll walk over there in just a minute and take a look at the Calcutta gold, but some of these things, when actually finished, look like marble. They do. What's the advantage? Exactly. What is the advantage? Okay. White Carrera is porous. And Calcutta Gold, porous. Finish gets eaten off. Okay. And you'll see it right away. Anything eats the finish off. It's not just what you think. Not just lemon, not just tomatoes, anything. But let me say this, from, des ooh, 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 from a design from point a of designer. view. From a designer, yes. Part of the beauty for people who have marbles like that is that character. Do I'll you agree? say that, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the patina. Right. I, my favorite material, hands down, is Calcutta Gold. Yes. And I will put it in my kitchen, but I'll leather it mm -hmm. because that will take to the antiquing and patina nicely. And, and, and that's the other point, that, that not only are you getting a beautiful material, but you've got someone like Andrea who really knows what the material will and will not do. And more importantly, if you educate someone, it's kind of like hard to pine floors. If I tell you that it's going to weather and get character, and that's part of the beauty of right. it, I may... And there are a lot of people that, like love you, yes. you, love, you love the Calcutta Gold. And anything mm -hmm. else you feel like you're settling. For. Exactly. So it's nice to have an option now to say, well, hey, I'm worried about the polish being eaten off. Right. We've got two options now. We leather it or we hone it. Mm -hmm. And you eliminate that issue. It's pretty interesting when you really think about it. Talk to me about, again, bringing people out here. What do you recommend they do? Come, just peruse, take a look. Yeah, because there is such an immense amount of material to look through. All right. A lot of people like to walk up and down at their leisure. Okay. You know, take their time, write down the stuff. Sometimes I get selection forms and they've got like 20 different materials on there. And then from there, we, of course, narrow down. But we'll usually work up a, an estimate based on just the, the preliminary selections that they've made. And just like we were talking about with the sequencing, you want me to actually pick out. When I pick this out, I get this, this. one. And I would absolutely love it if everybody would do that. Okay. Because, like you said before, the samples are so tough to go off mm -hmm. of. And you don't realize that. It is such a benefit to be able to come out here and pick your actual slab, tag your slab, and know that it's here, it's yours, and it's not going anywhere. Again, you know, uh, this is editorial. We're talking about this because it's so interesting, and it's just amazing to see. You've got locations, though, that are convenient for a lot of people, although this is where you can see absolutely everything. It's the middle. Right. Right. It kind of meets in the middle. Exactly. You're in Hilton Head. Pooler. Pooler, Georgia. We're in Beaufort. Which I love. That's great. Oh, yes. yes. I mm -hmm. love that one. I've too. seen all of them now. So you have, I re Yeah, they're really have, pretty amazing. Yes. And it's, then we've got Riverwalk, where uh -huh. the shop is. So this is actually a middle point for all of us. And again, you know, people, I think, how do I say this in a loving and kind way? I think sometimes we get a little bit lazy and we're like, okay, I just want career marble. Right. Right? And you, right. And, and I've been with you when you're like, oh, no, no, no. Right. No, you're going here's, to... Uh -huh. Here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. you, and that's what I always do, is, is you show other options first. Mm -hmm. And if you see someone settling, then I, I can't stand to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want a client to settle 
then we go back to the options. Was that one of our salespeople who just walked? Yes, her? it was. That was Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so She's fun. She's just passing through. Right. But it is fun to come out here. The folks that are here are amazing. There's always someone to help you, which yes. I think is pretty critical, too. And the dogs are here just to make sure that everybody oh, minds their P's yes. and Q's. Yes, but they're all sweet. <laughs> yeah, they really are all sweet. You know, talking about trends, you were talking a bit about this being um, a trend. What else are you seeing? You said the super white you're seeing. Of course, yeah. And then we're getting a lot of the Calcutta golds, okay. which we can look at next. What about things with big movements? I saw some of the slabs that almost look like a globe to me. A lot of those are big now, too, okay. for wet bars and things like that. Taj Mahal and Mother of Pearl, okay. which are the ones you pointed out before yes. that look like marble, are huge as well. So we can, you know, walk by those, too, if you'd like. And as we walked in, I saw some of the... Um, the glass. Thank you. <laughs> You know, the, I like that. I saw the glass. Yeah, the glass. That, I know. <laughs> it's it's not the Vetra stone. Don't okay. get it confused. Vetra stone is when a fabric, a different fabricator makes it themselves. Okay. We do not make it. Okay. It is made by someone, a company in Italy, and we bring in the slabs. Oh. So they are premium. It. I don't want to make anything. Right, no, thank yeah, you. I just want to fabricate it. Exactly. You want you to know. fabricate it, hone it, do the edges. I now, don't... what are the things that you do? Let's just say. We do edges. Okay. We do edges. We open sinks. Okay. When you talk about fabricating, that's really what I'm asking you. You're like, what, am I, what are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking kind of you, what does fabricating really mean to a person? Because they buy a slab. Right. What they don't recognize is what really goes on. Right. Is that they're not paying for... They also don't realize they're not paying for the whole slab. Correct. You're paying per square foot. So you're not buying this entire piece, and you're not stuck with the leftovers. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly what I was asking you, and I think that's a critical point. I really appreciate you joining us here on Lines on Design. It's always fun. There's so much to see. Again, don't be overwhelmed and don't be intimidated. Come in because there's no, always someone. It's a lot of fun. It, it really is. We love it. I mean, you've got me hooked on it. Thank you all again for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a great day.